Welcome back everyone, this is HDD Recovery Services. We recover data on this channel and today is no exception. We're going to be recovering content uh, from this uh, micro SD card. From what I can tell, uh, looking at the interface, and that probably isn't going to uh, be too difficult to spot, this card uh, got hit with uh, massive corrosion and usually that would be the result of a uh, gopro or something like one of those action camera cards uh, leaking uh, while they're in the ocean and or or sea something with salt water in it and uh, that salt water makes its way onto the uh, these onto these gold plated pads most of the card on the back here is covered with this that's gonna work as a barrier for the salt water not to get through uh, but because we got raw exposed metal here, the salt uh, that will hit these pads is not going to think twice about eating away um, what's under there. Okay, so start reacting around the borders. It will make its way to the copper and uh, that's going to be all she wrote for accessibility to this card. With that being said, there are multiple ways how data could be repro reproduced. There is an obvious way if let's say worst comes to worst we have uh, our NAND protocol uh, you see these roundish bumps uh, on the back these are the test pads that we would normally link to a uh, wire adapter similar to like this you know with bunch of wires going to corresponding signals to make that connection uh, however in our situation here we may get lucky we may not have to do that depending on uh, the extent of the damage now to, to assess the damage fully what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this coating as much as I can to expose the full picture and with the full picture uh, visible we'll see what we can do I hope that we can still put micro jumpers in place to make this work using like a really 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 thin wire but definitely we need to gently strip the back of it now there are again multiple ways how this coat can be uh, removed it could be removed with uh, wet sanding uh, with just uh, you know really fine uh, sandpaper uh, my preferred way is this um, fiberglass scratch pen if you guys are interested in where you can get one I'll drop some links in the description it's extremely useful product if you're not using it and using sandpaper instead sandpaper can damage the circuit very easily the downside of it is that it's going to leave a bunch of bristles behind and we've got to be careful with them especially working on a silicone mat like this it will absorb them and then they will get under your skin so you would want to find a way how to uh, trap all these bristles to get a piece of paper maybe pour like a little circle around it uh, grab a little bit of tape to secure the card in the center and put that card right onto the tape like this and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start sending the card near the interface only uh, there's no there's no point to go further into it for now other than you know aesthetics of it I'd probably turn on the fume extraction it's gonna get a bit noisy but these things can get airborne I don't want to breathe them in we're starting to see a little bit of circuit and the circuit is finally starting to get visible and uh, we can do the visual inspection now that's connected that isn't that obviously isn't this obviously isn't this is connected this is connected this is connected connected so we got one two three broken and everything else is good so here's the goal plan we're gonna first of all clean this up uh, on the adapter you have all the signals uh, right here for the SD interface we're just gonna have to uh, get a pin out uh, and link them together it's super quick and super simple same deal we put tape for the card so we have this diagram guys that's I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna use to link them so 
So tin the part that the wire is gonna come off of. So we're gonna put some here, some here, to this part, here, anywhere here, anywhere here, here and there. The next one is D3. So for the next one, which is power, I'm gonna go with a different ga gauge, uh, with a different wire gauge. We're gonna skip this one, um, and gonna put the uh, clock line on. This is the clock. The ground I'm also going to skip and I'm going to put the uh, thicker wire there later. So this one is D0. To test it, I actually got uh, something that will help me uh, later on. I use a deep spar USB stabilizer and my other SD card readers, they look like this. I knew it's not going to be so easy. I'm going to have to flip it over, plug it in the right way. Okay, maybe it's the um, interface USB 3.1. I didn't like it. Let's go back to the original setup. Plug it in through. Our old and trusted adapter and that works. So I guess the 3.1 interface isn't really a good way to go about it. All right, so uh, we're gonna open up the PC3000 portable. No uh, ports are gonna be selected because we're working with the external device. This is just solely for disk imaging uh, purposes. Create a new task. Our source device is going to be this card here. Yeah, 32 gigs. 
make that a copy and we're going to just make it into an image and we can execute the imaging and we can see that the imaging is running great the speed 60 megabytes per second that's pretty good let's uh stop this and we can go into the explorer and we can see that this card has fat32 partition it has no name to it but we can actually carve the data out by used sectors map so we're going to go and do that use sector map is going to be calculated this card was 9.4 gigabytes full so instead of imaging 32 gigs we're going to only image 9.4 because that's all there was on this card and when the image is completed guys we'll have all of the data recovered so i hope uh, this uh, gives you an idea of what kind of work would be involved if um, a salt water damage uh, was um, brought upon the micro sd card or regular sd card so there it is guys if you need this done check the link in the description i'll drop all of our information there uh, if uh, you like this presentation hit like uh, if you didn't like it hit thumbs down um, but hopefully this uh, will help some of you get your data back and uh, you get an idea of what's involved if you have any questions drop them in the comments below guys uh, but I think this was pretty self-explanatory and uh, everything that would need to be shown it was shown in this video see you next time thanks for sticking around I hope you have a great rest of your day uh, and don't lose your data guys go make a backup right now everything that's important make a backup See you next time.